We can continue working with issues resolution service. Create and manage issues are used to view create and manage issues in the DG in our project. In this building, we can see in this area we missing the column footer. So we will create an issue with this. From collaborate tab in the collaboration group, we can create an issue and click OK. Identify the subject, the date, assign to Dan that I add in the project before and a description. We can review the other tab, attachment, comment or audit. When we finish, we can save and then we'll receive a notification with this issue. The user that was assigned the issue received an email with the information, in this case, done, and can review all the information about this issue. In MicroStation, Open Building or other product can open the file and open the issue and review what is the problem. For this case, it's missing column footer. So now review the issue to solve the problem. In this case, go to the area where is located the problem. We can see the missing element that show the issue comment. As the element is in a reference, he activate the reference to be able to make some changes. Use copy to copy another element and copy using AcuDraw. Go to the complete file and review that the problem is solved. And the missing column footer appear now in the design. Again, go to the issue and open and add some comment. Footer has been added to the foundation. Please review again to show that the issue has been changed and reassign to me. Click Save and OK. And now the I model needs to be synchronized again, creating a name version to be able to display later and synchronize. To be sure all is OK, it can be reviewed in Design Review before sending. I received the message that an issue has been assigned to me. I can see the issue with all details. And check in MicroStation 2. When somebody else in your project teams at iTwin update in your open application, you will get an information in the message center that we can open to see the complete message. The iTwin building has been updated in the iModel hub. We can go to the reference dialog and we can see a little pencil icon in the status bar. We can select the reference and reload the reference to update. Attach iTwin have been updated similar to the DGM model. And now we can see the missing column footer. To close the issue, we return to the collaboration group and go to the manage issue. Select and open the issue that was assigned to me. 
I have already reviewed that is now correct. So we can add some comment and add review the out trial. So we can close now. The status of this issue has been closed. I hope you enjoy this webinar and learn about all benefits from the Collaborate tools. Thank you. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.